You've always wondered how coffee is made from plant to cup. Well, in this video, we're gonna take you through the traditional process here in rural Guatemala with a local family. We would work here. Sí. Uh -huh. Pueden, para cortar, necesitan like, mover de esta manera, okay? To pick yeah. it, you twist the way he shows. Yeah. No es duro. It's solo not necesitan, hard. solo necesitan cortar lo que sí está listo, ¿eh? Este Maduro, color, este, este color, sí. sí, esto sí. Pero este? Este no, porque todavía necesita un poco, aunque aunque se puede cortar también. You can take sí. it, but this is much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The very este red es ones. cuando es un poco duro, ah, a... pero cuando sí. Cuando Saca está listo. Saca más fácil. Exacto. Corta más fácil cuando son listos. So you or your local Guatemalan family has just picked some fresh coffee cherries or maybe you've been given some coffee cherries. What do you do next? Well, you need to separate that inside bean. Actually, there's two together, two little coffee beans from the outer fruit. And so really, if you're in your own home doing it, you've got th kind of three options. The first option is to take a knife and slice open the little cherry and remove the seeds. Second option would be to use your fingernail, rip it open and then remove the seed. And the third way to do it a little more efficiently would be to lay down a board or a cutting board or something like that, put a bunch of coffee cherries on there, put another board on top, a second board, and then smoosh it down and squish them so that you're cracking multiple cherries at the same time. Then you can just remove them all again, one by one. living on a property with a local Guatemalan family who are gracious enough to allow us into their space to show us how they do it. They've got a special machine that was handed down over the generations. And honestly, who knew it was called coffee cherries? Totally, I thought it was coffee berries. Uh, type yes if you already knew that. Don't lie. The man of the house got his coffee cherry separator from his dad. It's very old machine. But even still, it saves him a ton of time. As he remembers, before machines, he would be doing it by hand. Everything by hand. This part of the process is just three quick steps. Wash, sort, and separate the bean from the fruit. We put a whole bunch of fresh coffee cherries into the washing basin and we wash them and move them around. Some of the less than perfect coffee cherries would float to the top. This is when you remove the floaters, folks. We had many floaters actually, and some were kind of darker than the rest, beautiful cherry color. They were a dark brown color, so we removed all the floaters, any twigs, any leaves that floated for, to the top. Then what we did is we put the coffee cherries that stayed sunk in the water, we would scoop them out drain off a little water and then dump them into the machine. Once the coffee cherries are put into the machine, you just turn the crank and it presses them through a little more narrow compartment and it removes the coffee cherry fruit from the bean. And the beans are spit out the bottom into another basin. you're left with the slimy inner beans. These need a good washing and then they have to be fermented for one or two days. What we learned, and maybe some of you already know this, let us know below, but we were uh, educated in the process that the slimy bean is not yet ready for consumption. This slimy residue or coating has to be fermented off. And so you leave the slimy beans in water for a day or two. Once they feel a little bit rough and not slimy anymore, then they're ready to be dried. Do you wanna do this right away without waiting because otherwise your coffee beans can start to mold. Most families in rural Guatemala and many other parts of the world simply lay out a large piece of plastic somewhere in their yard in the sun and they spread out the coffee beans to dry in the sun for maybe four or five days. Depends on the humidity in the area and a few other factors.
What happens to the coffee beans now in the sun is they start to dry and what becomes evident is another outer layer on the coffee bean. It's kind of a parchment paper feel, very thin and very crispy. And then you end up rubbing the beans through your hand or rubbing them together and this, this kind of a skin falls off the bean and now the beans are ready for roasting. If you're getting value from this video, now's a great time to click the like button and subscribe. What we learned from our local family is that some families keep this outer parchment paper skin on and just roast the bean. But most take it off and roast. Our traditional Guatemalan family said that they do remove it. It just makes for a nice smooth coffee. If you're new to this channel, Plan Free, you might not be aware that we travel full time. And as such, we're always interested to make a good cup of coffee wherever we are. Because that's no fixed address, we have to travel with certain items that ensure that we make a good cup of coffee wherever we are. You'll see in the description below, we'll leave listed several of our must have coffee items that are in our luggage at all times. They're really lightweight, they travel well. We can take them to any Airbnb or apartment or hotel anywhere in the world.